Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing a melanoma of the big toe. So we're looking at the skin and we see the epidermis here and the dermis and the subcutis. The main bulk of the tumour is in this area centrally, but we can also see that it is extending to the right side and also to the left side. Let's start by having a look at this area of abnormal proliferating epidermis. So here we have stratified squamous epithelium, which forms the epidermis, and these are these pink squamous cells. We can recognize them as squamous because if you notice that in between individual cells, there are these very interesting little finger-like connections, and these are known as intercellular bridges. This is a feature of squamous differentiation. Coming over to this area, we can see that in the basal most layer of the epidermis, there are some very abnormal enlarged cells, which are quite polygonal. If you compare the size of the nuclei of the cells with the squamous cells, the nuclei are larger, the cytoplasm is paler, and they also have quite prominent nucleoli. So these cells here, these are part of the in situ component of the melanoma. So we have some in situ melanoma here, but over here we can see that the melanoma tumor cells are actually infiltrating downwards into the dermis. Let's look at the area of deepest invasion, which is here. And taking a closer look, we can see that some of the cells have this granular brown pigment within the cytoplasm. And this pigment is actually seen within tumor cells, and this is melanin pigment. It is not seen in 100% of all melanomas, but certainly it can be seen in many cases. Melanoma cells often are quite polygonal in shape. The nuclei are quite large, and they often have very prominent nucleoli, as we can see here and also here. In this particular cell, we can see binucleation or maybe even trinucleation, two small nuclei and one large nucleus and a very prominent macronucleolus. Mitotic figures can also be quite easily identified. For example, I can see one here and another one here. Here is another example of a multinucleated tumor cell. And over here, there is another feature that is commonly seen in melanomas, and this is the presence of an intranuclear inclusion, which appears to have a little island of cytoplasm within the nucleus. So intranuclear inclusions are quite frequently seen in melanoma. And here we see a binucleated tumor cell, which is also fairly commonly seen in melanomas, and there is another much smaller but also binucleated tumor cell. So we have these sheets and nests of malignant polygonal cells infiltrating into the dermis. Some of the cells have cytoplasmic melanin pigment. So what are some important prognostic features of malignant melanoma? One of the most important features is actually the measurement of the thickness of the tumor. Usually we would measure it from the granular cell layer in the epidermis all the way down to the deepest aspect in terms of millimeters. The presence of ulceration on the surface is also uh, a bad prognostic factor. We can see here that in most areas, there is still a little bit of intact epidermis. So in summary, this is an example of a malignant melanoma where we can see the tumor growing vertically downwards into the dermis. And this tumor is composed of infiltrating nests and sheets of pleomorphic polygonal cells with very prominent nucleoli, sometimes with binucleation, and some of the cells containing brown melanin pigment. Thank you.